Hi, welcome students. Welcome today to my lecture on Schrodinger's equation, introduction to Schrodinger's equation. Coming to the first slide, today let us understand some basic things before deriving the Schrodinger equation. What does it deal about Schrodinger's equation? First of all, Schrodinger's equation is nothing but a linear partial differential equation that describes the wave function or state function of a quantum mechanical system. Like Newton's equation describes the motion of a classical body. You know that in classical mechanics, Newton's equation is used to understand the future dynamics of a moving body, classical body. Similarly, a microscopic particle or a subatomic particle or a quantum mechanical system in which the wave matter nature, the dual nature is a reality, I mean dual nature is having some effects which are to be considered. Such a quantum mechanical system is completely described by an equation called Schrodinger's equation. And this Schrodinger's equation is a this significant landmark in the quantum mechanics. Like Newton's equation is a basic of classical mechanics. First of all, it was in uh, Schrodinger, Erwin Schrodinger was the first uh, who postulated in 1925 and that won him Nobel Prize in physics in 1933. Coming to the next slide. As I told you, Newton's law is a basic for mathematical equation for f understanding the future of a motion of a body. Similarly, uh, like we, s we know that the two things are position and momentum of a physical system and as a function of external force. I mean, we should know the force at each time and the position and momentum at each time will give you an idea about the dynamics of a moving body. Now, in a quantum mechanical system, which is a subatomic particle, the wave function is the property which uh, describes a quantum mechanical system. So, Schrodinger equation is basically an equation of the wave function. So, it is a differential equation where it is acting on the, the function which is considered in the Schrodinger equation is the wave function. And you know that the wave function is given at more utmost importance in shorting uh, in quantum mechanics. The wave function is the most complete description that can be given of a physical system. Uh, let us understand something uh, in more detail. Newton's equation in the parayana, the classical mechanics in the Adisana Uru Samavakyama the pole, quantum mechanics in the Adisana Samavakyam in the parayana, the shorting is equation. Anam. One body is acting in a force, one time is acting in a force in a function, we are going to have a body in a position and momentum, future position and momentum, one time is going to have Newton's equation. One subatomic system, in the way, an atom, along with subatomic particles, electrons, protons, away, 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 Schrodinger equation of Yogi Chi Namaka Kandudikan, I mean, other than the dynamics of Kandudikan Sadikim. As first of all, I will uh, give you the form of the Schrodinger equation. There are two forms of Schrodinger equation. One is time dependent Schrodinger equation, that is the general one, and the second is time independent. The time dependent Schrodinger equation is given by, we will derive it in later, i h cross d by dt of psi is, not, is equal to h psi. Here, Psi of t is the time dependent wave function, h is the operator called as Hamiltonian operator, which is giving you the total energy of the system, which we will discuss while we derive this equation. And uh, the psi is a wave function, basically, it is the uh, we can say it is a wave function. Nothing, what is the, it is nothing but the components in the expansion of the wave state vector in terms of the position eigen vector. So, the scalar wave function is represented as the wave function R, it is uh, as we know that integral psi star psi 
d tau represents the physical quantity which is probability like that we will understand about the form of the wave functions in the coming lectures now what does it a wave function represent you see here a wave function that satisfies a non relativistic schrodinger equation with v is equal to 0 corresponds to a particle travel freely through empty space you can see a, a figure which is just like a wave it is look like a traveling wave and that is what the real part of a wave function looks like corresponds to and the time dependent schrodinger equation in the position basis can be expanded as really the h can be expanded as minus h cross square by 2m del square plus v and that corresponds to the total energy operator where the first term is kinetic energy operator the second term is potential energy operator that is what the another form of the schrodinger's time dependent equation so it is a now we are considering non relativistic cases where the subatomic particle is not moving in a correspond uh, near to the speed of light but it is moving in smaller speeds compared to the speed of light similarly there are there is another version of quantum mechanics called as relativistic quantum mechanics so that we will do when we are considering the particle is moving at the speed of light now to apply the schrodinger equation what we have to do is write the hamiltonian of the system and that means find the kinetic energy and potential energy of the particle constituting the system and then insert it into the schrodinger equation and then you will get a partial differential equation for the wave function and then if you solve that equation you will get the uh, expression for the wave function that will contain the information about the system next slide you can see some different figures and these different figures corresponds to the wave function and their squares the left side will show you the real part and the imaginary part the real part is blue and the imaginary part is red of the wave function red color in the left row and in the right row is a square of the wave function which is probability distribution of the particle in the first case you have only one peak and the red color line is is the imaginary part is just the line straight line along the x axis in all the three cases the imaginary part is the straight line along the x axis you can see if you take the square of it it will become positive that's why you are getting uh, all the cases uh, positive peaks in the second row and these positive peaks are the squares of the wave function that corresponds to the probability density of the system and the time dependent schrodinger equation described above predicts that the wave function can form standing waves called stationary states see here it is very important thing to understand that standing waves are some waves which having constant amplitude and uh, nodes and anti nodes which we studied uh, the waves which are created by sound or waves on a rigid string so these waves even though the two waves uh, mutually the incident and the reflecting waves are incident superposed to form stationary waves similarly we can say here the time dependent schrodinger equation predicts the wave function and the probability of those will produce having constant probabilities at different points which will produce like a stationary states and these states are important as their individual study later simplifies the task of solving the time dependent schrodinger equation for many states so the stationary states can also be described by another form of the schrodinger equation called as time independent schrodinger equation at the time independent schrodinger equation is given by h psi is equal to e psi and that term uh, is independent of time where the wave function this is used when the hamiltonian itself is not dependent of time that means whenever if you have a system where the hamiltonian of the system does not depend on time then you have to use time independent schrodinger equation and we can say this is called as an eigen value equation in algebra therefore the wave function is an eigen function of the hamiltonian operator with corresponding eigen values so this sentence is very very important 
you first understand that the wave function of a system which is a solution of a Schrodinger equation is nothing but the eigen function of the Hamiltonian operator with the corresponding eigen value of the system. So the most common manifestation is a non-relativistic Schrodinger equation for a single particle moving in an electric field that is given by so this corresponds to the single particle non-relativistic case where the Hamiltonian operator is given by t plus v is p square by 2m plus v of x, y, z. And the Schrodinger equation also predicts that if certain properties of a system are measured, the result may be quantized, meaning that only specific discrete values can occur. That is the Schrodinger equation prediction that is properties, physical properties like energy, momentum, angular momentum, other system in the quantum mechanical system, or the set atomic system in the values number measure yana gil, namaka the kanan sadikim, our quantities continuous ala, maricha discrete tana. Ella values sim alnikitan sadim ala, maricha it is a multiple, integral multiple of a fundamental value, enula, condensed condensation concept, e pala physical properties in all the item shorting equation the prediction in them kanan sadikim. For example, energy is a condensed. Or actually, electron in energy condensed jana. Or what is angular momentum condensed jana. These are all the predictions of the Schrodinger equation, which was really proved in uh, experiments. And also, the Schrodinger equation that the result is not uh, that not every measurement gives a condensed result in quantum mechanics. For example, all measurement um condensed result all that is position, momentum, time. E carrying alam, condensed alam, marche continuous ana. Marche chella quantities, example, energy of a electron, energy, other than angular momentum, other ke condensed ana. Why this we come to the introduction to Schrodinger equation. In the next video, we will derive the Schrodinger equation. Thank you, one and all. Bye. Hi. Welcome, students. Welcome to.